This is a ladder diagram from the Lennox heat pump system that I have at my home. It is about uh, two to three years old. So this is similar to what you're going to see out in the field when you're taking a lo look at a uh, heat pump or an air conditioning condensing unit. And you'll notice that this is quite a bit different from the schematic diagrams and ladder diagrams you have in your textbook. So we're going to use this for our example. The first thing you need to know about our schematic and ladder diagrams is eat everyone, no matter the manufacturer, has a legend. Now, in this particular diagram, the legend is broken up in a couple different parts. Up here at the top, um, it shows your different components. For example, S4 is a high pressure switch and it shows you what it looks like. L1 is the reversing valve and shows you what it looks like and so on. So when you look down in the ladder diagram and you see S4 and you're not quite certain what that is, you can go back up to your legend and see that um, S4 is the high pressure switch. And the Lennox one does happen to have HI-PS which stands for high pressure switch, LO-PS, low pressure switch. But the legend uh, gives you more information uh, than just the diagram down here. Uh, all of the legends will also have uh, wiring information. The first thing to notice here is you have an arrow. Now this has nothing to do with wiring but it does denote optional components that are in the system. So any component that has an arrow, for example the high pressure switch, the low pressure switch, and this happens to be the um, crankcase heater temperature sensor, uh, th this designates an arrow right here as well. Um, those are optional components. So if you're working on a Lennox system like this and it's the ladder diagram shows that it has a low pressure switch and then you look in the equipment and there isn't one, uh, don't freak out. That's just um, because it didn't have that option. They use these schematic diagrams and ladder diagrams for um, several different um, units so they don't have to print out three or four different uh, ladder diagrams. So remember, this this arrow denotes optional components. Mine happens to have the high pressure and low pressure switch. The one you're working on may not. The next thing, uh, line voltage field installed. This is going to hold true on all of the ladder diagrams. It doesn't matter which manufacturer that you're looking at, looking at what type of equipment. But that is the line voltage, the high voltage coming from the home usually designated by L1 and L2 and this just goes out to your home and connects up to the disconnect. The dotted lines designate class 2 voltage field installed. Um, class 2 voltage is your low 24 volt control voltage wiring that the installers use to connect the uh, test board 1 on the air handler, the CBX32. Could be in the garage, could be in the attic, could be in the basement. So this denotes the low voltage control wiring that goes from the air handler into the condensing unit on the um, outside of your home. And then down here there'll be different notes, uh, warnings and so forth to pay attention to. So when you first pull the cover off of a system, just take a look at the legend, look at the notes and get yourself familiar. It looks like a big jigsaw puzzle right now, but when you become uh, more and more familiar with them you're going to be able to read it like a road map. So if you have any questions go ahead and post those questions in the um, electronic and schematic reading diagram forum. I'll be more than happy to answer them. If you have a specific question that the forum doesn't answer please email or um, if you're really stuck you we can uh, set up a Skype video conference and go through this together.